Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we have our cow! Reggie, please, the man! <laughs> OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays. Y'all doing? I can't believe what my eyes are seeing. All right, before we get started with the video, you already know, give the video a big like, like, like. Let's get to it. Wait, wait, wait. <coughs> before we get to the video, especially the dude on the receiving end of this video, I'm giving away a PlayStation 5 console if you still need one, bro. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter to get into the giveaway. Bro. There is a viral TikTok video sweeping the internet right now of a girlfriend throwing her boyfriend's PlayStation 5 over a hotel or apartment balcony. Captioned, just be the bigger person. <laughs> now let me ask you, what would you do if your significant other took your PlayStation 5, mind you, the console that's virtually impossible to find right now. I just saw an update of PS5 stocks going um, out of sale immediately within a matter of minutes. Mind you, a console that's hard to find, that's only gonna get harder to find as we get closer and closer to the holiday season. And she's like, <laughs> whatever, bro. <laughs> she threw it over the balcony and tells him to just be the bigger person. This is coming from TikTok user, Texas Lean Junkie. Caught on camera, she throws her boyfriend's PlayStation 5 over the window. Now, what would you do in that situation? I wanna know in the comment section, but I thought this was hilarious. Are they still together? Has he forgiven her? The, the story continues to unfold. But I just wanted to share this. I thought this was interesting. That's the first news item. Homegirl threw his PS5 over the balcony. And she was saying because he wasn't giving her enough attention. <coughs> wow. Wow. Hey. I'd be like that, bro. <laughs> All right, next news item. War for Wakanda. Black Panther is now live. I completely forgot. I knew it was coming out. I don't know why I had the 18th on my radar, but it's today. Today, today, Marvel Avengers War for Wakanda expansion is now available. I deleted this game a while ago. I am going to re-download it. I will be playing this tonight first with the sponsors. I was meaning to get on Rogue Company tonight. We might do Rogue Company after, but I have to do War for Wakanda today, today, tonight on my gaming channel with the sponsors. We're going to play it on the PS5. All right. Somehow, some way, Square Enix got my attention back on this game and Black Panther was it. So the Black Panther free, and it's free. If you already bought the game, this is free DLC. Um, can't wait to try it out. Hope there's some online multiplayer mission that I could um, play with the sponsors, but dope, dope, dope stuff. Marvel Avengers, War for Wakanda expansion, now live, now live, Xbox, PlayStation, go get it. Is it on the Nintendo Switch? Oh wait, the game didn't come out on the Switch. All right, next news item i'm joking <laughs> nintendo dudes are gonna be tight they're upset already in the comment section we're just having fun bro all right <coughs> next news item nba 2k 22 controversy i have to say this is my most anticipated game in the fall we're gonna be on nba 2k heavy on the ps5 can't wait for the game to drop but 
NBA 2K22 have been releasing player ratings all day long. Steph Curry got a 96. I think Kevin Durant also got a 96. But the fans are raging. Why? Because the fans are like, where's the gameplay, bro? This is a gameplay from 2K21. NBA 2K22 drops on September um, 10th in about 21 days. Zero gameplay. And is this tip? I know in the past, like last year specifically, they did wait closer to the game launches to finally show gameplay. But I think it's taking longer than usual. I saw a video, Agent, um, Agent, Dub, Agent Double Double, Agent Double Double, Agent Zero Zero. I don't know how to say his name. Agent, he was saying that uh, the 2K is going to be delayed this year. And he was pointing to evidence why he thinks it's going to happen. Ain't happening, bro. 2K is not being delayed. Too much money off the table this game is going to drop on september 10th but we do need some gameplay i'm just saying bro all right speaking of games dropping bro the fall this fall i know we have the coronavirus and stuff but there are a lot of dope games coming out in the fall another one that i think is going to be off of a lot of people's radar that you have to give a second look tales of arise tales of arise the demo the demo is now available on playstation i will be downloading it on the ps5 and xbox tales of arise is a dope rpg series free demo is now available go and download it check out the game you'll probably like it if you're an rpg fan you'll, you'll probably definitely like it and speaking like i say it's going to be a lot of games to play Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut launch trailer has just dropped on the internet and this definitely, definitely, we're gonna be visiting the island of Iki for the first time. New content, now the game will be running at 4K 60 frames per second on the PS5, which is crazy for an open world game, mind you. That looks this good, crazy stuff, but I can't wait and the new uh, multiplayer um, um, feature or uh, new modes the multiplayer mode will be dropping I think on September 3rd dope 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 addition to your PS5 library if you haven't played the game on the PS4 definitely a no-brainer even if you've already played the game the directors cut the new content definitely go back and check it out so um, Ghost of Tsushima out in two days in two days um, directors cut all right, dudes, those are the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy.